Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue that is why we are here every day on the bright side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy i've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis eczema rosacea acne digestive ailments autoimmune issues of all kinds recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and while some folks may call that healing renewing regenerating system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program we welcome your phone calls on the bright side our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or head over to brightsideben.com, order products right off the website. You can go to criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com as well. Those are my blog posts, my blogs, which we post regularly on, as, as well as uh, post news stories, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Of course, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, you can sign up right off the website, or you can call the phone team, 866-735-2470. Love to have you on my team. I can help you grow your business if you're interested in making some money, if you're interested in spreading the word about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program can be, we can help you there too. Call the phone team, 866-735-2470. They'll give you the scoop. If you're interested in purchasing any of my truth treatment products, retinol gel, 5% gel, made with no preservatives, no emulsifiers, no waxes, nothing your skin doesn't need, nothing your skin doesn't want, all my truth products. All my truth formulations are just made with things that your skin needs and use. Never any fillers, never any preservatives, never any fragrances. They're great for sensitive skin even. Even the retinol isn't going to cause the same kind of irritation that other retinol products do. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we are talking about the aging pigment. We've been talking about that for the last few episodes by way of quick, quick review. To get rid of uh, lipofuscin, lipofusion, dark fat. To get rid of it, use lecithin, especially after, your fatty, uh, after eating fatty foods. Lecithin can also, in addition to helping drain away li lipofusion, lecithin granules, which you can buy in a health food store. That's L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N, lecithin. Lecithin's amazing stuff for the brain and for the adrenal glands and for fat absorption. And it also helps with the drainage of lipofusion. Put a little lecithin granules in your smoothie. Eggs are a great source of lecithin. So if you crack an egg in your smoothie, you'll get some lecithin in there too. Lecithin also helps you process and digest fats and fatty foods. It'll make your smoothies nice and creamy too. It's an emulsifying agent. An emulsifier pulls in the water and the oil phases of your smoothie pulls them in together. It's used in ice cream and chocolates. It's used in, in the food industry a lot. I use it in my skincare products sometimes when I want a nice gentle emulsifying agent. Anyway, lecithin is awesome stuff. It tastes great. You can use lecithin capsules or you can use a lecithin oil or you can use the granules. I like the granules myself. Anything that helps you process fats is going to help you improve the elimination of your aging pigment, and that includes digestive enzymes, specifically something called lipase, L-I-P-A-S-E. The suffix, the ending of a word, A-S-E, always tells you you're dealing with an enzyme. Lipase is an enzyme that helps you process lipids. Proteases help you, or enzymes that help you process protein. Amylase 
are enzymes that help you process carbohydrates. In any case, you'll get your lipase and your ultimate enzymes. You'll also get bile salts. Again, those will help you process fats too. We talked about DMAE, dimethyl amino ethanol. You get that at a health food store or you can get it on the internet. That's actually considered, DMAE is considered to be the most important of all the anti-lipofusion busting nutrients. DMAE is also very important for brain health. It's important for fat absorption, fat utilization. It could be used by older folks for, who are having problems with dementia or cognitive impairment or even younger folks. It can be used topically, although I haven't seen tremendous benefits from, from topical application of DMAE. There are some people who feel like it might work for anti-wrinkles. Dr. Perry Cohn, who many of you have heard of, uh, cut his teeth. He, he got very pretty darn rich, actually, by recommending DMAE. I've never seen it work personally, but that's just something... Just FYI, topical DMAE, dimethyl amino ethanol. Certainly internally, that's well known that it can have some benefits internally for brain health issues. Vitamin E can be helpful for lipofusion. Vitamin A can be helpful for lipofusion. We covered all of these in the past few days. Uh, covered all these, I guess, I'm talking about lipofusion now, probably four or five days, four or five episodes anyway. And one of the best ways, of course, to eliminate lipofusion and to minimize disease and to slow down the aging process is to improve your lymphatic circulation by moving your body and activating your muscles. The lymph is part of the circulatory system. When we think of circulation, we mostly think of blood, but half of the circulatory system, or at least a good portion of the circulatory system, is lymph. Lymph is actually part of the same system that the blood is, and it's kind of an artificial distinction that we make. In any case, the lymph moves poisons around, and the lymph moves fatty nutrients around, and keeping your lymphatic system moving is super-duper important for anti-aging, for staying young, for improving disease, for reducing the, the risks of cancer. So anything you could do to improve muscular contractions in addition to helping from a cosmetic re from a, uh, for cosmetic reasons to help improve age spots is going to help with longevity. Remember, lipofusion happens in the brain and the heart, too. So moving the lymph is super, super important. The lymphatic system depends on muscular contraction for its pumping action, so get on a rebounder. Cost you 60, 70 bucks to have a little rebounder. Keep it in the corner of your living room and jump up on the rebounder one or two minutes a day. Doesn't take much. No matter how unhealthy you are, you can still do 10 seconds or 15 seconds on the rebounder, and it's fun, too. Brisk walks, especially taking a brisk walk up and down stairs can be very helpful. Even a leisurely walk can help improve lymphatic circulation. And because these are so simple, it's so how much does it cost and how difficult is it to take a walk around the block or walk up and down the stairs? These strategies are so simple and they're cheap, they're inexpensive. And because pretty much all dis-ease has an element of lymphatic congestion, especially cancer, these are all effective anti-cancer, anti-aging, pro-health strategies that everyone can do, that everyone should be doing. The cost is trivial, the beneficial effects are, are wide-ranging, and they don't require any doctoring or any medicalization. That's what we're about here on The Bright Side, being healthy without doctors, being healthy without medical intervention, being healthy without pharmacists, without me, without drugs, without Obamacare, without insurance companies. Why have we collapsed these two very disparate, these two different ideas, medicine and health? Why is it that medicine has become health? I'm telling you, medicine is not health. Medicine may be even, arguably anyway, the opposite of health. If you want to be healthy, it doesn't require medicalization and nothing exemplifies the non-medical element, the non-medical aspects of health more than the benefits you get by taking a walk around the block or jumping on a rebounder. First thing in the morning, by the way, is the best time to move your lymph because remember the lymph is moving, the lymph is circulating through the body via muscular contraction. At night you're laying in bed for eight hours, six hours, seven hours, 12 hours, however long you're laying in bed because the lymph depends on muscular contraction for its circulation. That means for eight or six or 10 or 12 hours that you're laying in bed, your lymph isn't moving. So first thing in the morning is a great time to improve lymphatic circulation, especially if you wake up with puffiness. If you wake up with a puffy face, puffy cheeks, puffy eyes, likewise if you wake up tired or stiff or achy, all of these can be signs that you have some lymphatic congestion issues and getting on a rebounder can be one of the best ways to relieve that. All right, we'll continue when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Oh, 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I was uh, I did a talk in Minneapolis on Monday, and they ran a um, they ran a tape Monday and Tuesday. GCN ran a, a recorded tape, and I guess it was from last summer when I was giving away my Omega Six Healing Cream. And now I got all these letters from folks who want free samples of the Omega Six Healing Cream. So I will be uh, if you sent me a letter. I got to get everything together. So just give me a little bit of time, and I'll get everything together, and I'll send you out samples. Uh, but I'm not doing any more free samples of the Omega-6 Healing Cream. But if you're interested in checking in, uh, checking out the products, you can head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So if you have sent me a letter, uh, give me a little bit of time to get everything together, and I'll send you out a sample just because we ran that program. Um, otherwise, just go over to truthtreatments.com, and you can check out all our skincare products, truthtreatments.com. We are talking skin health. We'll be talking skin health for a little bit. There's so much more to talk about, anti-aging and acne and eczema. We've been spending a lot of time on hyperpigmentation, actually on lipofusion, which is a type of pigmentation that gets confused with ordinary pigmentation. Hyperpigmentation simply means too much pigment. Liver spots or age spots are a completely different animal. They involve a fat system. They involve cells that are dying and not being drained away. And all the strategies we've talked about for the last few days are ways that you can not just only, not only improve the formation and the, uh, the, uh, the elimination of this aging pigment, but also improve overall health and longevity. Bodily movement is super duper important, especially if you wake up first thing in the morning with puffy eyes or if you wake up in the morning stiff and achy. Even if you wake up in the morning tired after a good night's sleep, these can all be signals of lymphatic congestion, which of course makes sense. You've been laying down for six or seven hours in bed and the lymph hasn't been moving. And when we talk about lymphatic congestion, what we're really talking about is a type of hardening. If you can imagine that lymphatic circulation under ordinary circumstances requires movement, pumping action from the muscles, you can imagine first thing in the morning, if the lymph has been coagulating and cloggy and hardening over the course of six or seven or eight hours, you can imagine now the heart has to work even harder. And now the body and the musculature have to work even harder to accomplish lymphatic circulation. So if you can get on a rebounder first thing in the morning or do a brisk walk first thing in the morning, and by first thing in the morning, I mean as soon as you get out of bed, just get on that rebounder. Or even just deep breathing, even deep breathing while you're laying in bed can make a big difference. If you've gone to bed after a night of partying, a night of drinking alcohol, or, uh, or abusing your body in any way, you're, the problem is going to be even worse. You've exacerbated lymphatic congestion because now you've got contamination in the lymph in addition to coagulation in the lymph. Perhaps the signs of a hangover, many of the signs of a hangover may actually be the manifestation of lymphatic congestion and toxicity. So moving your body around on a rebounder or deep breathing or brisk walk or up and down the stairs after a night of drinking, if you feel like doing it anyway, if you're not too hungover, that can be helpful for speeding up detoxification of alcohol. And then deep breathing is another great way to improve lymphatic circulation. It's always a good idea to take a couple of minutes and you only need two minutes or three minutes of deep breathing to improve lymphatic circulation. It's always a good idea to do that in the middle of the day before you go to bed. But first thing in the morning is a great time to practice deep breathing exercises. One of the more interesting and, and fun ways to improve uh, lymph circulation of the lymphatic system and to improve the health of your brain and to detox and to keep yourself and your organs and your skeletal structure healthy as well as to use something called an inversion device. These are special contraptions that allow you to hang upside down. You've probably seen these things. You wear uh, these anti-gravity boots and the boots hook onto a bar and you just literally hang upside down. And these things are, are relatively easy to use. They have lots and lots of health benefits. If you have a back problem, if you have spinal problems, skeletal problems, scoliosis, pinched nerves, these are great ways to decompress the vertebrae to uh, the vertebrae or the bony components of your spine, of your back. The hanging upside down is a great way to decompress, spread out the vertebrae. As gravity takes its toll over the course of time, vertebrae can become compressed and this can cause pain. Inversion therapy can help straighten out the vertebrae. Inversion therapy hanging upside down on an inversion device, they can, uh, it can improve hydration of the tissue. You can soften up the disc, soften up the cartilage between the discs, I should say. And that can improve uh, circulation, it can improve blood flow to the head, it can improve lymphatic circulation. 
In fact, in my opinion, along with a rebounder, an inversion device is one of the best all-around health-promoting and inexpensive and easy-to-use and non-medical health-promoting resources you can ever own. If you're dealing with spasms, back spasms, or compression pain, compression pain can cause nerves to be compressed. That's called a pinch nerve. Inversions can be very, inversion machines can be very helpful for that. Inversion machines are anti-aging. They improve circulation to the brain. If you're dealing with cognitive issues, you can think of an inversion machine actually as a type of, a type of brain tonic. Now, they are a little bit intense. You are hanging upside down in boots. If you're elderly, that may be an issue. Although people have been hanging upside down for millennia, people have been hang there are uh, there's a, a Indian a book of Indian wisdom called the Upanishads, and the Upanishads actually talk about hanging. They don't talk about hanging upside down, but they talk about doing headstands for improving circulation, for improving the circulation of energy, and also for accessing spirituality. But inversion is not just a spiritual technique. It's fully chiropractic. It's fully beneficial for the structure of the body, for the circulation, as well as for the lymph, as well as for detoxification. It improves drainage, improves the elimination of waste, and it has anti-lipofusion benefits. And because it lengthens the spine, it can have anti-pain benefits too. And it can reduce pressure on the spinal disc, on the vertebrae. All kinds of benefits for spinal stenosis, for hernias, for disc hernias, for spine degeneration, all kinds of benefits from uh, using these inversion devices. The most common ones are called inversion tables and they involve hanging completely upside down with your ankles strapped into these boots. It's somewhat intense and somewhat aggressive. Some people don't care, they like to be aggressive and that's great, but if you're not really interested in 100% inversion, you can get an inversion chair. Inversion, by the way, inversion therapy can sometimes be hard on the ankles and on the knees and on the joints and you do have to wear those special boots and you got a probably good idea to have a spotter just to make sure you don't land on your head. But you don't need to go all out with an inversion, uh, an inversion uh, table, an inversion hanging device in order to get the benefits of inversion. You can use something called an inversion chair. And an inversion chair is a little bit more leisurely. It allows you to sort of lean back and uh, not completely, so you're not completely hanging, or you're not completely standing on your head, basically. You're kind of like at a maybe 20 degree angle or 30 degree angle. They're not as intense as the full blown devices. You don't need boots, you don't need a spotter. You can do these by yourself. They're a lot more comfortable, especially for elderly folks. There's no reason why an elderly person can't do an, an inversion chair. It's super, super helpful for cognitive and brain health, too. So everybody benefits, not just people who have problems with their joints or their skeletal system. Of course, the detox benefits are also important for everybody. And you're going to get less pressure on your, on your leg muscles. When you're hanging on the, with these gravity boots, it can put some pressure on your knees and on your joints and on your leg muscles. So for older folks, uh, for older folks inversion chairs are a little bit easier. If you're interested in exploring the world of inversion, start slowly. Especially if you have a heart problem. Check, maybe check with your doctor if you have some kind of heart problem. See what he says. Uh, there, it is a little bit stressful on the circulatory system. And uh, you definitely want to start off slowly. Maybe a minute or two minutes or five minutes a day. And start off with like 15 or 20. If you're going to use the chairs anyway, start off with 15 or 20% inversion. And then work yourself into complete inversion over the course of time. Bottom line here, folks, is moving the lymph, improving the lymphatic system, improving the flow of lymph fluid is multi, multi-beneficial. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, and we're coming back with your phone calls right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the skin, but we're going to talk about hyperpigmentation, real hyperpigmentation, and that is one of the biggest complaints people have about their skin as they get older, dark spots. We've been talking about lipofusion, aging spot, uh, aging pigment, I guess you'd say. That's a completely different animal. Well, not completely, but, but pretty much different. As it turns out, melanin is involved in lipofusion as well. But lipofusion mostly is a, a sign of that the aging process is kicking in big time, that the body's becoming toxic. So if you're interested in getting rid of lipofusion, we spent a lot of time talking about how to do it. Go back to the archives. You could review uh, the supplements and the strategies. Last thing I'll say is uh, move that lymph. 
Move the lymph for lots of reasons. Move the lymph for anti-aging. Move the lymph to fight cancer. Move the lymph to improve the circulatory system and nutrient delivery and the excretion of waste. And also move your lymph to eliminate liver spots, i.e. lipofusion. And whether you use nutrition like vitamin E or lecithin or vitamin A or zinc or DMAE or whether you use exercise or inversion or deep breathing or drinking more water. The lymph is largely composed of water, so drinking more water can help. Whatever you decide to do, these strategies will not only keep your skin looking good, but you'll be feeling better, you'll be living longer, and you'll be fighting disease and reducing the likelihood of the formation of degenerative diseases and cancer uh, in cardiovascular heart health issues as well. And that's all I'm going to say about lipofusion, although I'm sure we'll be touching upon it again soon enough because it is very important. Tomorrow we'll start talking about true hyperpigmentation. It's technically called melasma. And unlike lipofusion, it's made up strictly of pigment. Uh, it's not, not cellular debris, it's made up strictly of pigment and it's on the surface of the skin, not deep, it's on the surface. And because it's on the surface, that gives us a lot more strategies for effectively getting rid of pigmentation and we're going to spend some time talking about that tomorrow and in the coming days on the Bright Side. All right, time to hit the phones, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us go to Cheryl in New York. What's going on, Cheryl? Welcome to the Bright Side. Cheryl, I need you to speak up. Can't hear you. Hello? There you go. What's going on, Cheryl? Good morning. Good morning First, to you. I want you to know that I'm, while I was waiting, I was working to improve my lymphatic system by deep breathing and rebounding. Slow. Slow. <laughs> oh, you were rebounding too? So, well, I was waiting, yes. How do you feel? So out of breath. <laughs> Are you invigorated? Yes, I can am. You tell, Thank can you, you. Can you tell how you have more circulation in the top of your body, in your head, in, the, in, in your face area, the top of your body? Yes, I feel it on the move, my system. <laughs> Good deal. Well, you sound great. You sound awesome. What's going on? How can we help you? Yes, I have a question. Will you please discuss the um, differences between the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 tablets and the powder? Oh. I ordered the tablets um, because I was having a little adverse reaction to the powder, so I had not been using it. What, kind, I, of, what kind of adverse reaction were you having? Um, a tingling. My tongue, my face. Really? My, yes. Huh. And, and so I tried, you know, some of the other, the multi-tangy um, and whatever, and nothing really works, so I'm trying the tablets. And will you please discuss uh, the differences because there's a little difference, I think, in the whole foods that may. Um, yeah, there's not as much nutrition in the capsules is basically mm -hmm. what it is. It, and they can't squeeze as much in there. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I'll tell you, I'm, I like the liquid. When you put something in a liquid, several things happen. First of all, you activate some of those nutrients, especially the electrical nutrients. The combination of water and electrolytes and electrical nutrients like the B vitamins and vitamin C creates an electrical effect. So in addition to the straight nutrient, you're actually drinking electrical energy. You're drinking movement, dynamic movement, and that has a beneficial effect above and beyond the nutritional content that you're not going to get in the tablets. Or the, is it tablets or capsules? capsules? They're tablets. Are they tablets? Yeah. Right, so, well, that's, that's, I haven't seen them. I've just heard about them. So here's another thing about tablets. When you're making a tablet, you've got to use a, a, a pressure machine, and that involves heat, and that's not necessarily good for the nutrients. And then also you've got to use binders to have all the nutrients stick together. So between the fact that you're getting less electrical energy, you're probably getting less nutrients, you've got the binders, you've got the tableting process, it just doesn't seem like it's as good a product to me. And then last but not least, you can't control the doses effectively. With the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Powder, one of the neatest advantages, in addition to the fact that it's a powder and it goes into water and you drink it and it's electrically active, you can control the dose more effectively. So with tablets, the capsules, you can't control the dose. In pharmacy school, they, are, they always tell us that liquids are the best way to get your nutrients next to IV and next to uh, inhaling them through your nose or also suppository. Suppository, IV, inhaling, those are the best ways to get nutrients right into the blood. But next to that, liquid is going to be the best. Tablets, we've got to get, they've got to go through the digestive system. They've got to get processed with digestive juices. You're dealing with binders. Uh, you're also got heat involved, you're not getting as much nutritional value, and then you're not getting the electrical issue, the, the electrical benefits either. So I don't, if you can do the, the powder and the li uh, powder and liquid, that's the way to go. If you can't, you can't. I don't know that you necessarily, I've never heard of that tingling issue, and I don't know if you'd avoid that with the tablet, but you're going to have to let me know on that, because you'll know more about it when you do it. 
Does that help yes, you, Cheryl? I will. And also the ORAC points are higher with the tablets. Have you heard anything about uh-uh. that? I'm not. I'm going to have to look into it. I've only heard the tablets are coming out, uh, mm-hmm. but I haven't seen them. Uh, you know what? I'm going to, I'll do some research on that, and I'll let you know. I'm doing a talk in Denver this Saturday, so I'll probably get asked about it. So I'll, I'll do some research on that in the next few days, and I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you my take on that as well. But my first, right off the cuff, when you ask me without me having done the research on the specifics, tablets are not going to be as effective as powders and liquids. I appreciate that. Thank Thanks. you, Cheryl. Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, David in Texas, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, good morning, Ben. How are you? Good. I'm doing good. How's it going, man? Oh, going great. Hey, I've got a uh, quick question for you. Actually, I don't know how quick it'll be, but got okay. a couple. Um, a good friend of mine has a, a, a child, well, he's a teenager now, who has coast disease. I don't know if you're familiar with that. A, uh, an inflammation of the blood vessels in the eye, uh-huh. and he's, fa- he's facing um, getting his eye removed. Um, okay. Well, before and, he does that, well, let's talk about inflammation. Okay. Coats disease doesn't is pretty rare. Um, but it is basically, while Coats disease is rare, inflammation is not rare. And one of the hallmark ideas, one of the main ideas that we talk about on the bright side is it doesn't really matter where your problems are, it matters that your problems are. You follow me? It doesn't matter whether it's in the joints or whether it's in the eyes or whether... Yo, David, what are you doing, man? Uh, I'm here, I don't know. If you're on speaker, get me off because I can't. That's a terrible sound we've got going on here. All right, so anyway, Coats disease is an inflammation of the vessels in the eye, and the, the uh, appropriate word or the, the operative word is the inflammation. So what you want to do is you want to look for other symptoms. This is how you deal with specific problems. You look for multiple symptoms so you can form a picture of what's going on. So what else does this boy have? He can't just have, nobody just has uh, inflammation or blood vessel problems in the eye. There's got to be other things happening. So you want to look for other symptoms. Of course, the most likely symptoms are going to be digestive because the, the body's a closed system except for the digestive system. And by the way, when we talk about the body, we're talking about the blood. The tissue is not, the tissue is fed from the blood. So we're talking about, when we talk about stuff getting into the body, what we really mean is stuff getting into the blood. How does stuff get into the blood? Through the digestive system. So the first thing is, you always want to look for digestive health issues. Can you hang on, Dave? I, I'll, let me address this when we come yeah, back. I'll, I'll be here. I'd, I'd, I'd love to talk to you some more. Okay, hang on. Don't go away. All right, we'll talk about Coates disease. If you're on hold, we'll get you your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. If you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment products, retinol gel or any of the vitamin C products, True Serum, Truth Balm, Omega-6 Healing Cream, head to truthtreatments.com. That's plural, truthtreatments.com. Also, if you friended me on Facebook, I'm at the, I'm maxed out on my personal page, and I don't even really check it, my personal page, all that much. But head over to, to the Truth with Ben. I post on there all kinds of tips and uh, we do all kinds of posts, ideas, do-it-yourself kinds of things, and also nutritional strategies for healthy skin. Go to Truth, The Truth with Ben. That's my Facebook page for, uh, for my skincare stuff, The Truth with Ben. And also, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the Bright Side, please go to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. I'd love to have you on my team. I can help you grow your business and we can do three-way phone calls and help a lot of folks help spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. All right, we're talking to David in Texas about Coates disease. Coates disease is an eye disease, inflammatory and immune eye disease. Here's the thing, David, nobody just has one type of immune or inflammatory problem and there's no way to just approach the eye. If you go to the doctor, and he probably has, they'll give you a steroid product for the eye because steroids are anti-inflammatory and they uh, suppress the immune system. Uh, Coats disease, by the way, is when you have this exudate and, and weird vasculature changes, uh, blood vessel changes in the eye. But nobody just has Coats disease. Now, how well do you know this family or this boy? Uh, I know them very well. It's actually they're my, it's, uh, my kid's cousin. Okay. Do you know that he has other health oh, yeah, issues? Do you know that if he has other health issues? He does. He, oh. he, he, he has um, diabetes. Okay. So, now you're, see, uh, this is what you're talking, David. This is what we're saying. 
Okay, so that's where you want to work. You see what I'm saying? Nobody just has Coates disease. If you go to the eye doctor, they'll just take out the, they're not going to literally, but they'll basically take out his eyeball and coat it with medicine and stick it back in his eye. Now, you said they're actually going to take the whole eye out. Can you imagine this? That's and nobody the plan. thought about They're, they're, looking, no, they're looking for an alternative to that. Good. Work on the blood sugar. Work on the digestive system. Have the boy fasting. Eliminate anything that's getting into the blood that's causing a problem. It's obviously a blood issue, right? How does stuff get into the blood? Is he an IV drug user? No. Uh, where else? How else can stuff get into the blood? David, I'm not psychic Ben. I'm pharmacist Ben, but I'm going to guarantee you he has long-standing digestive health issues. Start working there. As far as supplements go, get him on the Mighty 90. Have him sipping on the BTT, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's probably a good idea to get them on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. The Ultimate Enzymes after meals and between meals can help. And then last but most certainly not least, the Fucoid Z, which is made with Fucoidin, is wonderful for all <coughs> excuse me, circulatory health issues. Fucoid Z is multifunctional, but one of its most important benefits is it helps the circulation and helps blood flow. So digestive strategies blood sugar strategies, get them on the Healthy Start Pack, use the Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Fucoid Z, and then the Ultimate Enzymes with meals as well as between meals. An elimination diet probably is a good idea, too. Look for problem foods. Does that help you, David? Okay. Yeah, it helps right. a lot. I have one more question for you if you sure. have time. Sure. Um, I called in some time ago. Uh, I have Graves' disease, so okay. you know, several kinds of issues going on. Right? And you Same gave deal. me some very good advice. And I, I'm actually in, in remission. Praise God. Know, um, so follow, wait a minute. Following your advice. Okay, that's awesome, Dave. Now listen, you're going to help a lot of people when you answer my question, because there's a lot of people out there with Graves' disease, and the, the medical model, which I'm going to refrain from cussing at because it makes me so mad, will take your darn thyroid out or radiate your Agreed. thyroid or chemically poison your thyroid in order to deal with Graves' disease. How idiotic. Idiotic with a capital I. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to get mad here. Graves' disease is a sign of a freaked out thyroid. So what are you doing? Help some other folks here, David. Tell us what you're doing to, to get this thing in remission. Well, well I'm taking, um, you know, good doses of probiotics every day. I, I you. take your, um, your digestive enzymes. Um, I have eliminated just about uh, any food that causes me to, to have digestive issues after I eat it. Awesome. Um, which has basically reduced me to eating very simple foods. You know, I eat no problem. Uh, meat. I eat... Uh, um, you know, poultry, fish, seafood, vegetables. I actually uh, reduced my amount of fruits because they're just, just Good giant for you. Things. So you're, yeah. you're noticing that you there's know? a relationship uh, between, hang on, David, you're noticing there's a relationship between foods and digestion and your thyroid symptoms, basically put. Is that correct? Absolutely. And I've also, you know, I'm taking lots of supplements. I take your Beyond Tang Tangerine. Um, I, I take a lot of other supplements as well. But I, I had questions regarding one in particular that I was referred to, uh, okay, magnesium nitrate. Um, yeah, nitrates are very, they're good. They're, they'll open up the blood vessels. They'll improve circulation. Magnesium is spectacularly important and a very significant nutritional deficiency for a lot of people. Best way to get your magnesium is from vegetables, but uh, the osteo effects or beyond osteo effects will get some. Magnesium nitrate I haven't heard of, <clears throat> excuse me, but nitrates in and general are, yeah, I hadn't heard of that. But nitrates in general are definitely going to be beneficial for you for the digestive system and for the vasculature, for the blood vessels and getting oxygen to the tissue. So it's probably a good idea. Magnesium also has benefits for oxygenation and opening up the blood vessels. So it sounds like a good supplement, even though I haven't heard of it. Um, so you might want okay, to consider Okay, yeah, I'm having trouble lo locating that. Um, I haven't, I've never seen it. It's used for a fertilizer, you know, so that's why I thought I'd call you and get your advice before I... Get your nit if you can't find it, get your nitrates from vegetables, celery juice, beet juice, um, cucumber juice, any kind of veggie juices will get you lots of nitrates. Spinach is a great source of nitrates, green leafies, and magnesium also. Anything that's green is going to have magnesium in it. Magnesium is green. So the best way to get your magnesium and nitrate is with celery or spinach or lettuce or green leafy vegetables, kale, etc. Uh, and that, be, that will get you some magnesium nitrate right there, so you don't even have to go spend any money or spend a lot of money on a supplement. And I'm going to move on, David. I appreciate your call very much, and thanks for the kind words. And good luck. And that's, Thank that's you really, for everything. Keep up the good work, brother. Good, good job. All right. That's how easy health can be, my friend. I talked to a guy yesterday. He had a horrible cancer. He had liver cancer. Uh, and then, it, or he had colon cancer, and then it metastasized to the liver. And in, in my conversation, I asked him how he got a hold of me, and he said that I had been talking to a guy, and I talked to so many people, so sometimes I forget all the individuals that I talked to, but he said that the, this guy had eye cancer, this, and, and the things we talked about here on the bright side and, and in my phone conversations, he doesn't have it anymore. 
Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we're curing cancer, but, but that's what happens when you start to make these kind of changes in your life. It's not that you cure cancer, it's that you reverse cancer. And it's not that a magic pill does it, or a magic protocol does it, it's just the same darn stuff that we do to keep ourselves healthy, that we should be doing to keep ourselves healthy. And so when, when David says that he's reversing his symptoms of grave disease, it's like, no surprise. These are the kind of things that are available to all of us without doctors, without drugs, without me, without pharmacist Ben, we can do this all on our own. All right. Uh, let's go to uh, Mitchell in Texas. Welcome to the Bright Side, Mitchell. What's going on? Yeah, hi, Ben. Um, hey. So this is a sort of a general question. How do you know whether a particular drug requires a prescription or not and go- without going to a doctor and having them tell you? You got to look it up. There's plenty of ways to look it up these days on the internet. Just look up the look up the name of the drug, the chemical name or the brand name, and then it'll tell you if it's a legend item or a prescription item. Back in the old days, you'd have to get a, a PDR, a physician's desk reference. Nowadays, you just look everything up online, and it'll well, tell you. Well, I, actually, what I'm fussing with is whether what I'm looking for is a prescription in one state versus another. So um, no, how does prescription that drugs don't vary by state. They vary. They're federal. They're, le- they're um, uh, well. I, I don't know if that's completely true or not. Because yeah. um, uh, tell I, me what I, you're thinking. I, I take well, well. Let me tell you why I say that. So I I take insulin, and mm-hmm. that I know that's is a prescription. a prescription in some states, but not in the state where I live. What state like, do I don't you live need in? A prescription, Texas. Okay, so insulin's a little bit different because it's it's a something that the body makes, and sometimes there's like uh, except, exemptions for things like insulin and hormones and DHEA and substances like that. But I hadn't heard that. You know, Texas is a bit unusual. For the most part, they're going to be federal. Although insulin it might be an exception because insulin's a hormone; it's not really a pharmaceutical. In other words, it's not a pharmaceutical drug per se. Although it could be regulated as a pharmaceutical drug, it's not made by made with drug kinds of technology. It's more like uh, it's a. It's made with recomb- either recombinant DNA or it's real insulin. Uh, it's genetically modified or it's real insulin from an animal. Um, but I don't think uh, it's not. That's not really a, a, the same as like an ordinary prescription drug. But for the most part, they are federal. Most prescription drugs they're not regulated by the state. They're regulated by the Drug Enforcement Agency, the DEA, I believe, and the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. Um, I may be. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Does that help you, Mitchell? I'm, I don't. I'm out of time. Uh, yeah, but let me look. This is definitely start. Yeah, insulin. Insulin is a little bit different than an ordinary drug, but for the most part, drugs are FDA and DEA, are regulated by the FDA and DEA. Those are federal agencies. All right. Thanks for your call, Dave uh, Mitchell. I appreciate it, and I'm sorry if we left you on hold. Invariably, we do that, but that's why you got to call in early so we can get to all our calls. Uh, if you, we did leave you on hold, and you want to, and you want to talk to me, please call tomorrow and uh, tell our call screener we left you on hold. We'll get you first up. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. To the bright side, have yourselves a spectacular, awesome day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now. Oh,